the new vent eustachian tube dilation balloon is indicated for use in patients 18 years and older who need treatment for persistent eustachian tube dysfunction. It is a manually controlled balloon catheter that when inserted into the eustachian tube canal and pressurized, the balloon expands and dilates the eustachian tube canal. The new vent eustachian tube balloon clears the path and relieves the pressure. The eustachian tube balloon includes an inflator, extension tube, and the balloon device with stopcock valve. Attach one end of the stopcock valve to the inflator and the other end to the extension tube. The system includes a pressure indicator, which is a safety feature, as it allows the proper pressure to inflate the balloon. The stopcock valve is activated after the balloon has been inflated, mitigating the need to manually hold pressure on the inflator for two minutes. The balloon device has a flexible balloon section, which allows for customization to fit patient anatomy. The tip of the balloon is atraumatic, preventing passage through the bony isthmus at the end of the eustachian tube. Persistent eustachian tube dysfunction is a condition where the eustachian tube is unable to function properly by opening and closing when necessary. It is estimated that 4.6% of the U.S. adult population suffers from ETD. Symptoms can include pressure in the ear, ears feeling plugged or full of fluid, ringing in the ear, and trouble with balance. Carefully insert the balloon handpiece into the nasal passage, with the tip facing inferiorly. Guide the tip of the handpiece to the opening of the eustachian tube. To enable easier insertion, adjust the angle of the flexible balloon section to the angle that best fits the specific patient's anatomy. Rotate the tip to align the balloon catheter with the trajectory of the eustachian tube. Gently advance the balloon catheter into the eustachian tube. When the tip of the catheter has reached the bony isthmus of the eustachian tube, the user feels resistance and the blue-colored marker at the proximal end of the balloon will be near the opening of the eustachian tube. Inflate the balloon and turn the stopcock valve 90 degrees, holding the inflation for two minutes. At the end of the two-minute dilation time, release pressure in the balloon and retract the inflator handle to deflate the balloon. When the balloon is fully evacuated, Gently remove it from the eustachian tube canal following the same trajectory used to advance it. The new vent eustachian tube dilation balloon is designed to be an effective and safe treatment for persistent obstructive ETD. Clear the path, relieve the pressure.